My name is Lisa and I'm a teacher at Ferry Junior School. I went to university straight after college and did a psychology and education studies degree. I knew I wanted to work with children but I didn't quite know what job specifically. So after I finished my degree I looked around and wondered what job to do, wasn't sure still and my friend who was a teacher said do you want to come into school and get some experience? So I went into her classroom, absolutely loved it and then I went back to uni for a year and did the postgraduate certificate of education, the PGCE, which is the extra year you can do to become a teacher. You can do it like I did, you can do a three year degree and then you can do the extra year PGCE. Um, so that would take four years in total. Or you can do a degree just for teaching, which I think used to take four years, but I think they've just introduced a new three year one. Um, so you can do it that way, uh, which is called a B.Ed. Um, alternatively, you can work in a school as a TA, um, teaching assistant, and you can get sponsored and do the uh, GTP, which is Graduate Teaching Programme, but you already, I think, have to have had a degree in the past to do that. Like I said, I knew I wanted to work with children because it's really good fun and really rewarding, <clears throat> but I wasn't entirely sure in what aspect and then when I had experience with my friends class and really enjoyed it and had a really good time then I decided yeah this is what I want to do. Well working in a junior school obviously that's primary so basically we teach all the different subjects so it can be a really varied day if you were to work as a secondary school teacher then you would specialise in one subject and teach that all day long. The best part of the job is um, seeing the effect that you've had on the children, teaching them something new, seeing them enjoy taking part in an activity that you've organised for them. Um, taking the children out of school on a school trip, that, that's absolutely brilliant and something that they always remember and really enjoy. Um, so yeah, just seeing it, children enjoy their learning and gaining new knowledge and experiences. There are some challenging aspects of the job, so for example, you'll come across children that really do um, challenge you with their behaviour, um, and you need a lot of patience and things like that. There's the fact that there's always so much to do and never seems to be enough hours in the day so you sort of need to prioritise your workload and see what needs to be done first. Um, so yeah, thinking that you're running out of time and never getting everything quite done, you just have to do it the best you can in the time that you have. I would say you need to be patient caring and organised. Things that you can put on your CV if you want to become a teacher um, would just be if you can get as much experience as you can then obviously that looks really good on your CV because it shows that you've been active enough to go and find voluntary work, things like that. Um, even if you, it's something like um, a club or sort of like a, a summer holiday play group, something like that. If you've gone out and got experience off your own back, then obviously that's going to look really good on your CV. And if it's up against someone that hasn't done that, then it gives you a bit of an advantage, really.